Okay, so what we're going to do now is move a little bit into collisions, things running into each other. Oh, wait, we have one more momentum thing to do. Okay, so has anybody ever seen a watermelon drop before? Surely in high school, somebody made you drop a watermelon off the building and you didn't know why. No one's ever dropped a watermelon, no. I see one person vaguely, slightly admitting they dropped a watermelon like that. All right, well, we're gonna drop out. Do you want the, like, the high drama part with the music or do you wanna just watch it drop? Uh, I was afraid. What about my hammy acting? Do we have to watch? I have to leave the room. That's the only way I can get through this, okay. Uh, let's see, here we go. So we're gonna drop a watermelon off of Rice Stadium. Here we go. It's not easy. Yeah. Boom. Okay, we'll get to the important part in a minute here. So there's the physics part we'll talk about in a second here. Oh, oh, can we get back to the physics part? Here we go. Where's the physics part? Ah, damn it. I don't want to see that again. Okay, we need the part where it makes a perfect circle because we're going to think about momentum real quick right there. Pretty good. Okay, so if you think about why, you notice how it made a perfect circular splat, right? It was a beautiful circle. Why does it make a beautiful circle? Well, it's just an example of the conservation of momentum, right? So it's like this. So the watermelon is falling this way, right? It clearly has a bunch of momentum uh, going down, PZ. So PZ is increasing due to gravity because it's got a force from gravity speeding it up, and gravity is pulling the Earth up so that the net momentum is staying constant. Um, I'll get to office hours before we stop. Uh, but what is PX? Zero. What is PY? Zero, right? So this is the Z direction. There's X and there's Y. So those are both zero. So when it splats, uh, suddenly it gets lots of momentum in the x and the y, but it has to sum to zero, right? So this is one half of the watermelon. This is one half of the watermelon. But in this direction, p x still has to remain zero. So every piece going to the left, there has to be a piece going to the right. Every piece going up, there has to be a piece going down. Every piece going off this way, there has to be a piece going off that way. And that's why it makes such a perfect little circular uh, pattern. Uh, this is just for fun. They don't, they don't learn anything from that, except how fast it hits. And now I know a high school physics teacher who makes the students take a video like this and track each of these pieces and estimate their mass and velocity from the video and confirm that it really is zero. Okay. We can actually relate this to the Higgs boson. So we talked about this year's Nobel Prize. Last year's or two years ago was Nobel Prize was this is how particle physicists find particles, right? As they look for missing momentum. We know about the particles we know. The universe conserves momentum. So if we track every stupid particle flying out of the LHC, track all its momentum, we say, is there any momentum missing? If there's momentum missing, that's the particle that we don't know exists. We don't know how to detect it, but it tells us, oh, there's a particle going off this way that is missing. So we put on a new detector, figure out what it could be, and theorists write a bunch of papers and press releases and blah, 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 right? But that'd be like this. If you saw this track, and you saw in this segment nothing is moving out, you would say, oh my god, there's a new watermelon particle that's not detectable by the camera. And you would say, wow, that's exciting. Okay. Oh, I'll have to see it again. Oh, that is the slow motion. Okay, we're done with that. Right. Let's make that go away quickly. Okay, so let's see. So now what we're going to do is talk about collisions. Like between the, oh, and then somebody may ask, what's the question that we always get is we didn't conserve momentum in the Z, did we? Maybe there's a missing watermelon particle in the Z. No, but we did give the Earth a kick. We changed the Earth's momentum when I uh, had the watermelon hit the Earth. It actually shifted the Earth a little bit. I had to get a permit to be able to do that, but I did it. I made sure somebody on the other side of the Earth was also dropping a watermelon at the same time, 
you know, all the standard whatever. 